Hello, my name is James Edwards, the most valuable motivator. If I can change, if I can turn my life around, if I can fall down and get up, anybody can. My father was killed when I was four. My mom was addicted to drugs until I was 17. My grandmother, she was my only caregiver. She raised me. When I was nine years old, she started having heart failure. When I was 12, she passed away. When I moved in with my mom, every single day, verbal abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse. At 15, I sold my first piece of crack cocaine. At 18, I was traveling back and forth from Florence, Alabama to Detroit, Michigan on the Greyhound bus with drugs. At 20, I bought and sold my first kilo of cocaine. At the age of 24, I stared deaf in the face on four separate occasions. One time in particular, I boarded a flight going to Houston, Texas to purchase five kilos of cocaine. That was the same day that my connect got me to Houston, whooped the gun in my face, pulled the trigger, put the gun, then fire. August 1st, 2005, the FBI and the DA had had enough of me. That was the day that they charged me with conspiracy to attempt to deliver and conspiracy to attempt to possess 50 to 150 kilos of cocaine and 2,000 pounds of marijuana when they wrapped me up in the conspiracy. They tried to say I had my first cousin killed. They tried to say I had my second cousin killed. But by the grace of God, on April the 17th, 2006, that was the day that I stood in front of Judge Sharon Blackburn and she sentenced me to 96 months in federal prison. On the road to prison, when there were no distractions, when there were no interruptions, when there were no interferences, I began to entertain the questions of growth. I began to face the fact of the reality of, if I go back to society, Society, selling drugs the same way I was selling them before I got locked up. Next time they'll give me a life without parole sentence. Therefore, I got away from my peers and I started running with older individuals who I considered had wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And one day, one of my mentors shook me from the core of my being. He asked me a question that just changed my whole life. He said, young man, what caused you to sell drugs anyway? Right there at that point, I couldn't describe it. Right there at that point, I couldn't answer. That's the question continued to resonate in my mind over and over again. I said, man. I was in an identity crisis. Right now, it is one word that'll snatch you out of the identity crisis. It's one word that'll make you a game changer and not a stage player. It's one word that took your president from law school to an attorney, from an attorney to a senator, from a senator to the United States president of America. It's one word that made him say, yes, we can, and the whole nation bought into it. It's one word that make the doctor say, I'm not losing another patient. It's one word that make the educator say, I'm not losing another student. It's one word that'll make you an athlete, an attorney, or architect. It's one word that'll make you a banker, biologist, or a businessman. It's one word that'll make you a coach, a counselor, consultant. It's one word that'll make you a doctor, doctor, or a dentist. It's one word that'll make you an electrician, an evangelist, or an environmentalist. It's one word that'll make you a musician, a motivator, or a minister. It's one word that'll resurrect your mentality. It's one word that sunk me from a small city drug lord to the most valuable motivator. It's one word.